Onivia, League of Legends highlights. It was genius. The misfortune comes through here for, for Kwangdong Freaks, but it was a last minute lock-in. It felt like they were very much destroyed in draft here in terms of their original game plan, and everything felt like it was a flex coming through for Kwangdong Freaks. Nothing felt it almost flex. dead. Um, if he gets hit by that Q, if clear flash is on him, he might just die. But now oh, Kuz is here. Oh no, well there's the ghost. Q is going to connect there from Kuz as he just decides he's getting out of there. Nice gold card to stop Kuz in his tracks. He will slow him down, but there's the flash. Pulverize on the bottom side, and Bull's being lit on fire. It's a decent crash down, but Hannah, look at that health bar, he flashes, he looks for even more, gets the ward in the brush, and the blight has been stacked. Any ability, and Bull will die, and there it is. Oh, barely catches him on the end oh. of that. Executor's gonna get He's unable. not even done yet, all right, the cow is angry. Shattering Strike comes down, and there is the crash down. So we're gonna have to enlist some help by the blind gentleman in the jungle. Uh, because otherwise, it's uh, it's feeling real doomed. Look at the position on this Jackson. There's another taxi forward. Andil now going Alert. to be trying to be annoying, but Bull is just dead again. There is nothing they can do about this. And now execute on a flank angle one more time. Of course, Pulverize has a really long cooldown at this stage of the game, so he's not going to be able to lock down. Sorry, well, Cuz was doing the bubs, but this is of course going to mean that the first Infernal Dragon, or the first Dragon in general, is going to go over here. Have yep. a little bit here, but we'll catch this wave. We'll stay about 10 CS behind. Clear. If you go for that gold card, you're in trouble. Oh, yeah. Another Q going to connect here from Cuz. There's the kick flash, and he is pushed all the way back. Can he fly? Oh, no. That's not what you want to see. That is, no, that, that wasn't it. Into the wall, not an over the wall. Um, and don't, I think don't need to assess the replay for that one. Yeah, that could have happened. Imagine that. So there was potentially a way out. But Destiny going to be used back towards the top side of the map. And Quantum Freaks now going to look for Henna there. That is not a very high value uh, cleanse, but it is a very nice ultimate. Is Andil almost just dead? He might actually still be. Henna has uh, flash. Yeah, um, okay, he's just dead. And that you ever just, you ever just... So far in this game, mentioned already, that he has been farming up a storm as well, but now that he managed to help get that kill on the top side, and he is the Magnet Storm. All right, and finally the bullet time comes down as well. Execute, getting out of there as Will is going to be the first one to go down, and Hannah has zero mana. Cuz is burning down, but he's not going to die from that ignite. There are three swift kills. We will thin out. I think this wave is not going to be enough to kill it. They want to stay for this, though, and there's no rotation. There's no answer from Fear X. Very possibly going for a potential steal here. I mean, Kwang the flanks, uh, closer is down there, and yeah, they'll take this turrets. trade. They've yeah. got two turrets for free in this game because Fear X haven't responded at all, and they don't get dragon to Kwang Freaks instead. So a little bit of a disaster there. And it's not the first time they've left this Renekton alone in topside. Like he got that plate earlier. This time he's going to get the whole turret. Uh, Mura mana. Completed up as soon as he possibly can. Still a few stacks away from that if he does complete the man immune. And uh, clear now. Looking for Cuz. Finds a red card. And a Q's going to connect one more time as well. Andal looking for that angle, but there's Heba Pulp. And he's just taken down. Henna's going to get another kill. And Chains of Corruption, just the end, going to land onto the rail. Thankfully, there's a bullet time to make sure that they're not able to really lock him down and stay in amongst it. So, Handel does get out of there relatively scot-free, but now Henna is unleashed. The gold card comes in, and Clear is even going to be able to cancel out. And there is going to be at least a little bit of threat here from Bulldog on the top side of the map, and Bull is going to move towards the outer turret in mid. But I think that this in attack by a Q, not exactly an optimal target, though, as Henna is going to rotate down once again. Teleport is up for Dudu. It is just a gold card necessary as Destiny's going to come on through. There's the Magnus Storm and the interruption is instant. Welcome to the team by Closer as well, who will just take down Bull. And look at Hannah, still at full health, and no one can get to the Varus. And he may not also be necessary as finally he's going to be able to get some shots off. They take down the Twisted Fate, but I think the team fight should still be pretty good. That being said, Dudu is kind of a monster. He's kind of a big deal, and he almost to get a better team fight opportunity than that, right? Like fighting into a misfortune in a choke point is generally pretty ideal as Andil's going to crash all the way down. But it's not exactly the highest of value as Dudu looks for the back line, but he's not able to get on top of Hannah. The bullet time does absolutely nothing as closing gets two immediately. Perfect execution as he locks up the triple kill and now it's clear and Hannah and Closer and they have got all the damage that they require. They'll be able to take...
the next fight here is really just going to be about whether the Magnet Storm combo goes off. Oh, yeah, there's a bit of a crash down. Seismic Shove is decent, but Chains of Corruption are going to connect once again. Headbutt out of the Piercing Arrow isn't great, but now Closer, he's going to close the gap. Andil is so incredibly low, it's clear. Wants to be out of lockdown. He's doing it immediately. Takes out the bottom Good lane. Cuz is in trouble, but now Clear is in melee range. This Crocodile is so scary, and he just hasn't been what they're focusing on. No gold card for Clear, and now it's Closer that's the last man standing. Dudu is actually... Melee range and died. Uh, so maybe just like you can just just auto attack whatever's in front of you. He does so much damage, and this is cooldown reduction, and now the armor plus the uh, GA. I mean, I don't know if he ever dies. Well, now we've got a seismic shove. The clear is going to avoid, but can you avoid the crocodile as he is coming in? Okay, Bulldog goes golden. There's a pulverize, but bullet time is going to come through as well. My God, Hannah does so much damage. What was that? Okay, never mind. It's going to work out as Dudu will finally get here, but he might be just too little, and it's definitely too late as now Cuz is going to be taken down. Dudu going to get stunned up, and he just bought his GA. He needs to be able to utilize this one as there's hysterics. All right, head up, hold, but the misfortune managing to get a couple of kills. The seismic shoving once again. This is what happens. Dudu turns up and then everything goes. Quandong freaks his way. Yeah, Bulldog TP is back in. I think the double up is what got the kill there. And I mean, Closer's down now. There's no way to contest. The golden, so he's not taking damage from him. And then Henna survives barely as Dragon is going to go down here. Cuz tries to get the kill on to clear, and then that's anyone on Fear X. Maybe, maybe not Alistair. Um, then you're, you're probably going to die. Even the Jacks. Cuz? Right. Yeah, Cuz could be in trouble here as Closer. Going to be able to get out of the way of the seismic shove. Q misses there as well as, all right, Execute. Getting in amongst it as there is the crocodile getting angry, and the cow is probably going to bear the brunt of that. Ah, uh, yeah. Chains of Corruption just sort of fly by for some reason. And Quantum Freaks. Not a whole lot to lane really effectively at all. And there's no flank angles for Closer on this Akali because the map is locked up and there's so many deep wards. And they just need to stop opting in for these 5v5s that they're going to opt in for right now. Uh, Henna in that back line trying to be able to get some auto attacks across. His immediate kick onto Closer. He's trying to get out of there. The seismic shove just barely gets out of the way. But Dudu is tanking up all by himself. And once again, the bullet time does absolutely nothing. Still, it may not matter because they've taken down the Akali already. Clear. Clear. Trying to get this work done. And look at that. Henna flashes on in. And it's now just Bulldog against the world. Finally, Fear X found a team fight that worked out as there's a nice flash from Bulldog to get him to relative safety. Uh, flashing right onto his surfboard, his passive going to get him out of there. And good kick here from Cuz to, to try to keep Bull alive here. Execute just keeps Bull out while they focus down on the other side of the fight. Clear and Hen are doing all the work due to losing that part. That was the negative part of the Execute experience. Um, before that, though, that blast going was really cool. As now Willer is looking for Andal and looking to be annoying here as he does manage to lock down the Drake. So we got three apiece for both of these teams as now the Magnus Storm is a bit like a blender and it manages to get closer. Clear wants to find some gold cards to get himself the heck out of here as here's a flanking teleport. Willa is going to interrupt it though. What an absolute hero. It may not necessarily be enough, but Clear does make it to safety. And Hannah is actually getting some poke damage off onto Cuz here on his way out. And that was a very close call as Clear will get out of there using the Destiny himself to the top side. Could have actually used it to catch some uh, members of Quangdo Freaks if they just walked back up there to back, but he decides to just get out. Is another TP going to come through here now, this time from Bulldog? And Willer, I don't think he is going home safely, let's say. It's not a one piece. Yeah, it's not looking too good. That being said, neither is the Rebel Baron power play. Yeah, it's not ending up... Uh, you definitely should, because he has enough money. Yeah. 48 kills in that long or most kill game in like 24 minutes, I think it said. That's pretty... Need to land. If Henna wants to help the rest of his team out, making something happen here. Hail of Arrows comes down as Willa down to 50% as he's just 1v1ing the Baron right now. Quanong Freak's not committing to anything just yet as Dudu looks for closer into the Twilight Trout. He goes, and there's the Baron going over to Cuz, but can they win the team fight? And the answer just might be yes as Bullet Time comes on in. Make it rain on Willa as well as, oh, the Crocodile wins the 1v1 against the Akali. And I think Hannah is not going to be able to make it out of this one. Bull, he might burn down, but he's not even going to. Never you mind. That's a clean ace. And Quandong Freaks will now win the game. And it's not going to break the highest 
his kills, it's just gonna tie it at 48, as there's no one left to kill in this one. Bull will live here, and he's not gonna get executed either. He's just gonna walk down the top lane here and end the game. Kind of an anticlimactic end to this one in a lot of ways, as the Baron is stolen and the follow-up damage is there. Very, very weird game of League of Legends that we just watched, but the pressure is real. Fear X take game, or rather Quantum Freaks take the wrong time if you make a poor choice, as Execute does about 50% of the time, then you're gonna die. There is no get out of jail free card. The uh, Aurelian Soul here up towards the top side to try to make that uh, clear potential dive a success, because he has this wave pushing in, wasn't able to get it last time, was punished by Cuz. Well, Zudu is going to do his best to try and clear out the minions as he looks to try and turn, but the W is not going to stun for long enough, and that is... And, uh, you know, I mean, that's what you could do if you think Cuz is going bottom side. He is. Let's see what he can get done. All right, nice flash to avoid the crash down here. As Angle, Execute. he's going to get pulled back underneath the turret, but it then loses interest. Doesn't matter because Closer comes in and he'll cash in his teleport with a kill. Okay, so I, I'm just going to say it's a low possibility. Statistically unlikely. It is statistically unlikely for them to be back to back. However, oh. See? Statistically unlikely. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> it's not going to be a Chemtech Soul this game as uh, Bulldog also in a little position that has a twist of fate that wants to live in side lanes. Makes a lot of sense. In theory, me. if the Twisted Fate does go to sides. Oh, but Cuz coming on in with a smite. It's not going to be enough there. Is now the flash hook. Oh! It's going to catch him after the Arcana, the Arctic Assault as they turn their attention towards Dudu. Cull the Meek is massive. Value Glacial Prison coming down. And he finds four with the Magnet Storm. And they are hoovered up by the Renekton. He will fall down in the end as Clear is also going to be swept up. And Andil almost dies, but he's not going to fall. More breathing from Bulldog. But he's not going to be diving the turret this time around as Closer finding some value with these Qs. You can see the Varus roaming up. He wants to try and collect them as they move yeah. down this river. Good ward. It goes into the brush. There's a flash, but it's not actually going to get too much. But the piercing arrow's there, and Henner is going to get his first kill of the game. Theoretically yeah. happened means absolutely yeah. zero. And so far, I think you're right, with the Aurelian Soul being a big issue, is okay, Chains of Corruption comes down, Glacial Prison's going to be there as well, but the bullet time is such high value. The hook is going to connect once again, as now Dudu dives on top of the Varus. We'll be able to take him down. The Nautilus is dead as well, as it's a Cloud Soul. Oh, heck yeah, love that. As now Closer is going to be discovered by Andil. He Magnet Storms. And there is going to be a make it rain on top of the Karma, but I think he might. No, never mind. Dudu closes the gap. And that is a. Oh, oh Karma! The inspirational shield in the lead. It is uh, a little bit puzzling as now the gold lead only 600 here, 500. Well, that will change once this turret goes down. First oh, why did we try to give the kill to Bull? We could have got him, but we waited and then he got his shield back. That was. Perfect timing. It's like on a split is second. Destiny going to come in. There's the flash gold card as they look for Bull. The hook is going to connect on a Magnus on that piercing arrow. Just the very edge. And they're going to be able to lock down the bottom lane immediately. Shelly pops down as well to join the party. And Hannah's back up at four kills. I feel like I've seen this movie before. I think so too. Uh, <laughs> quite recent as well. No, yeah. I wasn't. Of course, it's Soul Point here for Ferex. They are massively ahead. Oh, Dudu could teleport in, but he doesn't really have a flank ward. So I'm not sure if he really wants to. Okay, he does have that angle. Yeah, there it is. Somehow, Closer managed to miss a stationary target, and they're going to dive on top of Andil. The Glacial Prison connects. The bullet time is going to land, and that does a lot of work on to Execute. But Dudu, he's already out of the fight, and he's been so pivotal. Cuz has to flash this time. He's not going to escape with 26 HP. This time he's dead. Henna's going to be able to lock down another one. And Clear, do you have more cards? Of course he does. He's got so many decks. And that is going to be the Karma locking down Bull. That's going to be Soul Point. And this time, the Snowball has not just crashed into a volcano. Very frustrating. Yeah. I feel like Game 1 covered the material a lot better. Well, like, that's the thing. And, like, they're just missing the personality of the characters. Okay, Cuz is going to go in. They look for Execute one more time. He's going to be the sacrificial Nautilus. And look at these piercing arrows. This is actually, like, kind of the perfect scenario for Execute because he can just die and they can get some value. This time... Last cone there as well. So Valdez, he isn't actually as... There's the face check! 
and he dives in on top. Destiny immediately comes down as well, so they know exactly where they are. He's relatively tanky, but not tanky enough. And teleports are now flying in. Bulldog able to get some breaths of light down. Finally, we get a huge ulti. But is it actually going to be enough is the question. Willa has gone down and Bull's taken out Execute as well. As Closer going to be shielded up. And this is the crocodile that we wanted to see. The one with full health tearing them to shreds. It's just going to be Baron. Oh, and we thought that it was different. They just changed up the timeline. It's Cuz's health bar. And if you're putting everything into those guys, then it's exactly what Quantum Freaks wants yes. in that moment. They are the tanks. That's their job. And uh, they don't have a taunt button, so you don't need to worry about it. Henner is going to be out of cleanse. Quantum Freaks split. That one. And the ulti does basically nothing there. As Bull, he's going to get interrupted, but the bullet time doesn't actually do too much. Still, Willer is trying to get these autos in. It doesn't work. And Hannah is going to get taken down. Execute the last man standing. That ain't the best of news. And now it's 16 to 15 in favor of Quantum <laughs> Freaks at 26 minutes. First trap. But also, nothing is decided in this game whatsoever. Uh, except the fact that Clear is going in. Let's see what he can actually find. The Counter-Strike value is absurd as the Varus manages to take down his opposite number. But in goes the Crocodile. Where have we seen this before? But he doesn't have a lot of follow-up. Where's the rest of the team? Where is the Dragon damage? There it is. It rains hell down on the enemy jungler. And finally, Closer is going to hit some Qs. Cuz is going to get slowed down as Bulldog's doing his best to breathe and breathe as that gold card went a really long way as Dudu's able to slice and dice his way out. Only Willer is dead and trade for the bottom lane of Kwandong Freaks and I still don't really know. Nope. But the Destiny is now on cooldown. Bull, or Bulldog rather, 392 stacks, oh boy. Oh yeah, there's the Glacial Prison. They dive in on top of Closer, but he keeps himself alive. Gets the big old shield as well, and there goes the Rel. And now these Qs are raining down. The Inspire Shields are also going to be able to keep them alive, and the hooks are coming in. Dudu just getting chain CC'd, and yes, the Steric Shield is massive, but he cannot 1v5 it. Well, he may not be able to 1v5 this time. Yes, there's the hook. And okay. Execute's able to cut him down, and so now the fear button on yeah. him, and so therefore you're never able to bullet time. Yeah, you can't because actually, you'll just die. You can't actually properly fight. And I think engaging on the closer seems like a good idea when Cuz hits that ultimate, but it's it's just karma anymore. And this Baron just opened the map up enough where Fear X are able to take this. Cuz really put himself in harm's way there. His aftershock. I love that. He's is is just changing it up. He's is. It didn't work out last time, building that Infinity Edge, so he's going to go for something different as the hook. He's going to break the shield execute! He's done it! He found Bull. Bulldog goes into his Zonyas, but that means he's not doing damage. Henna gets a double! And we said it was winnable and losable on both sides. That was execute! Just deciding to win the game! There's nine kills left in this reboot. Uh, I don't know if it's no, going to happen. No. Uh, so that means that it's definitely not over yet. So I spoke too soon. I mean, I, I don't guaranteed. know. It, it seems over. Are they going to change the ending? That's wild. I don't like that. Well, I mean, we might just need another reboot. We'll go back to the director. He'll say, no, this is not actually the ending that I wrote. And we'll have to have a game number three is now clear. Looking for some autos on to Dudu. It's a last ditch effort. The counter strike on to three is massive. And yes, that's a huge magnet storm. But the follow up has been dead for a really long time. And now, yeah, there's the flash cue from Closey. You love to see him. There goes the Nexus. Game number two. Callista pulled back, be it Xin Zhao knocking him in with the Crescent Guard, with the shove of the Talia, the Q3 from Cassante, and obviously Execute's ultimate can be quite impactful. Even Hanna can, can lock down this. For them to leave up all of these options that they're so good at, but Virex just seems to me like they came in with a plan and there's an immediate cleanse from Bull, but he's going to get bailed out. Execute! Oh, so close to dying. That would have been absolute disaster, but instead it is perfect. And that's first blood. A double kill for Hannah as he casually tanks up the turret for his jump. He's just not going to be able to offer much back. All he really is is a handshake at this point. If he had six, then you can, that's all you need to deter dives. But that means they're not going to be able to trade Dragon for the top side bubs. And that is very frustrating here for Kwangdong Freaks. Just getting nothing, 20 CS behind, zoned out of farm. As even this cannon minion is tough to pick up here for Bull. Yeah. The fact that Andal needs to go back home, Bull not going to be able to approach this, and Willa 
He walks over Vision, but it doesn't actually matter. He's still just going to flash in for the audacious charge. There's the knockup, and that is just so easy. 0-2 now for Bull and they saw Callista. They saw Cuz on that control ward, so they knew he was... Bulls around and things like that. And Clear yeah, continues to have a bad time not being able to win that all in. A little bit sad, or not being able to get the kill. Bulldog on the roll. As, yeah, he does speed himself up. And now he's looking to try and get a kill onto this Cassante, and he should be able to find it, although we'll taking some damage. It's just not going to be enough. Wasn't close enough to that turret. Deny as much uh, farm as possible before doing so. Ooh, Sentinel. That's going to distract Plus you. 10 gold as well on that one. Indeed. He's furthering his gold lead. And they make sure they're the entire wave, utilizing the turret. And Willa comes lightning onto Cuz. Bit of a 1v1, but you know that Execute is going to be able to rota rotate up earlier. Doo -doo. It's a 5v5 that they are potentially committing to here. Closer does have Weaver's Wall, of course, that Quantum Freaks need to be aware of, but they do have a ton of prior. They have that mana advantage for now, as Closer's looking for the long wraparound to cut this team in half. Yeah, Chains of Corruption. Not going to quite do too much here, as now Closer splits up the fight. Seismic Shove is so good! As Cuz, he's going to get Execute! Awesome. Execute gets into the back line, and there's no Bulldog is just torn to shreds, and Ferex, they do not want to give up on the playoffs. They are looking for it this early into the seer, into the game. Yeah, I mean, grouped up near the objectives, and there's not much Quantum Freaks can do. As clear is, all right, he's going to take a lot of damage. Yeah, shortcut. <laughs> In which way though? Because. Do you want to go back to the death chamber and then go to wherever your destination is? Is that where he wanted to go? Um, I guess we'll never know. But he is definitely going to be caught in the enemy jungle and just destroyed. Yeah, I mean, obviously, what do you want? Don't do it, Kwangdong. You don't have to. Well, there's a Pop Blossom, and Execute looks majestic while he does basically nothing. Clear just going to all out cause over the wall so he can't steal away the soul point, and that is going to be successful. I love that from Ferex. Don't opt in for a fight. Just opt out of it. Get yourself... The Nico is also very large um, and very ahead. So Quantum Freaks have to pull a miracle out of this fight, and then maybe they can go Ooh. to playoffs. Well, as the win becomes lightning from Willa, but no real follow-up. Still not a lot of damage as Dudu looking for his opportunity to try and get some splitting done. Bulldog with some successful poke here on the Henna as well. Yes, he's the one where, who has all the gold right now. If he pops, if he is blown up, if he dies before this fight starts off, then that's a way for Quantum Freeze to get this dragon. I see what you did there. As there's a Flash Magnet Storm, but I don't know about that one, cuz. As Henna already taken down relatively low, and now the Cassante sort of by himself, pulling in the Gnar. As Dudu just getting taken down so low, he has the bailout. They do manage to proc it here. As now Closer's flashing away, but the Nico is going to be taken down, and now Cassante is doing Cassante things, and the benefactor is going to be this Talia, who picks up the double. Bulldog and Andal, nothing they can do. Bull died at some point in that fight, but I missed it. I'm not going to lie to you. I just did not quite see what happened there. And they'll well, take. So now it is Hex Tech Soul Lightning Strikes, and will slow every single time they hit these champions. And that makes the engage so much tougher. As you can see here, Cuz already taking the brunt oh, of it. Oh God, yeah. Um, and that is without Henna just layering a million arrows that then slow and just make everything really horrible. Um, will it slash either? Man, that is just a dead Baron. Very late TP here from Dudu. Oh, well, there's a Pop Blossom. There's Execute going to land the Snare as well. Dead Jungler, but I mean, the Baron's already down. They're do doing it in the opposite order, but it's working out very well. Fate's Call comes on in, and uh, Andal is just going to pop back very close towards Willow there. With you know, massive advantage. Um, you know, here by Phyrex, they don't want to squander. They're not going to overforce or over push their lead, just doing the bare minimum to keep this advantage, and that's now turned this into a 7,000 gold lead. Ow. Oh, oh my god, the amount of damage that this Varus is doing. It's is, big. Yeah, it's just revolting. Uh, clear, now splitting towards his top side of the map as well. He's got his jack shows. He's uh, a very happy Cassante as Dudu. He's going to look for some boomerangs, does not quite get them there as. You can see uh, Clear is just happy to jump underneath this turret. I don't know whether he should be, uh, because Dudu's hit Mega and uh, probably doesn't really want to, to be perfectly honest, but some friends are going to show up. Dudu not finding the Gnar onto anyone. Seismic Shove is too good. Clear's taking no damage. There's the All Out, and that's going to finish it up. Crypt Loom going to go off, and there goes the inner turret in the top lane. That's all of them. 
now done. The entire outer ring, six turrets to one is that scoreline, and that's why we're sitting at a 9,000 gold lead and a 5.2k Red Bull Baron power play. And this is officially the most kills that we've had in a series this season. And I don't think that's a surprise to anyone at all. And this is a low kill game. Oh, oh my god, just ripping them apart. I mean, it sort of is, and it's sort of... Oh, for I, this yeah, series, no, for I this series. Is. Yeah, for this series, for it this absolutely series, it's, is. A, it's the lowest one by far. Yeah, it's like 0.6 of a kill per minute. That is not what we're used to. And these Nexus turrets, they're not used to being taken down this early in the game as well. As Phyrex, they also understand that this is not the time. They're going to need some more kills. Is that Nexus turret going to go down? The Siege is just so strong here. And when you focus down the Gnar... Karma was okay. He got that one media vote, right? Yeah. Like, this is, uh, this is Closer actually finding success on champions that he's been historically not so good at. And it's uh, it's a great look for Therax if they are going to make an attempted run towards the playoffs. A great wall in that first dragon fight that uh, obviously Execute got the, the big play on as well as, as a as shove. shove. Yeah, as Crashdown does come in, Magnus Storm is only on to closer though. It's not exactly optimal. Pop Blossom gets some work done. Three man now from Dudu though. Is this going to be a turnaround? I'm not sure about it as Andil. He bails himself out, and it's not actually going to be enough. And it's, it's an expensive bailout at this point in time. Is Bulldog finding some value here? In fact, that is two kills on both of the casters. Henna is very, very large, and so I don't think they're going to be able to kill him. But Bulldog can keep him at arm's length. The only one that can really threaten at range. And uh, now Cuz is going to try and get towards his dragon pit, and it's not going to work. Uh, just because there are three inhibitors down. There's absolutely no way. That's what you're dealing with here as Quanta Freaks, not to mention the Hextech slows. Yeah, same can be said for Bulldog as in they go. Okay, Pop Blossom is too good though from Execute, and he's able to take down Andil almost just by himself. As now Cuz is going to fall. It's a double kill for this Nico. That seismic shove goes wide, but you know what, close up? You're 100% redeemed. And you miss as many of them as you would like. As now Dudu and Bulldog, nothing they can do but watch on as another chance at playoffs passes them by. Phyrex, oh my goodness, after dropping that first game, we were worried, and then...